I have quite a number of these little battery operated LED light strings and they tend to go through batteries pretty quickly so I'm going to actually modify this one to use a standard USB power option instead of batteries so they could be powered by something like either a power bank or just your standard USB phone charger adapter. So to get started I'm just going to go ahead and take out the motherboard in here. And that's on this model, it's just held in by two screws on the back. And we'll also take off the cover here. All right, and the next step is going to be to take out the battery contacts just so that we can get the wires uh, and everything attached to them pulled out. All right, we'll go ahead and set the case aside. And this is the main board. Let me go ahead and get that clamped up. Okay, so this is the top of the main board here. You can see there's battery negative and then battery positive. So first thing we're gonna do is get these two wires unsoldered. Since we won't need them any longer. And if you notice on the back of the board here, uh, it's actually labeled, that's your B negative and your B positive. B positive. So quickly desolder both of these. Alrighty. And then I'm going to put a little flux on the board here so that we can just get rid of this old solder. Use a little solder wick to wick the old solder off the board. And we'll put a little more flux on this one. There we go. Okay, now that the old solder has been removed, we're going to be able to start attaching the USB cable. Now before we do that, we're going to need to add a 100 ohm resistor to this circuit here. Uh, your standard USB is 5 volts and this works on 4.5 volts. So just to keep from damaging any of the LEDs, I'm going to go ahead and put in a 100 ohm resistor. So go ahead and get that soldered in. So again, I'm just going to put a little flux. It's just a little flux pen here. Okay, so let's solder in the resistor now. Let's go ahead and place it in here. You don't want to stick it all the way through because you're going to want to leave a little lead to be able to bend it over.
So since I don't have enough hands to hold the solder, the resistor, and the soldering iron, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm just adding a little solder to the iron before I bring it over. Alrighty, that should be good enough. Now we can go ahead and kind of bend the resistor over. There we go. Let's trim off some of the excess lead here. Okay, so now we can take the end of the USB cable, which is right here, and on this cable, white is positive, black is negative. So we're just going to go ahead and put the black through here and solder it to the board. clamped in here. All right, so now we're going to join the white wire to the end of the resistor here. Line it up so that it fits. All right, I'm just going to place a little piece of heat shrink tubing over this connection. Alright, I'm just going to solder this wire on here. There we go. And we'll just take, trim the excess lead off. And then push this little piece of heat shrink over. Right. Now I'm just going to go ahead and shrink that on real quick. Okay. And now actually ready to go back into the case. But before we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and put a dab of hot glue right here on this cable so that it helps it from pulling off and takes a little bit of strain off the resistor. Just to help keep them in place. And once that dries, we'll be able to put it back in the case. Now that we no longer need batteries for this, I'm actually just gonna take a hacksaw and just 
cut the battery compartment off right here. So let me do that and I'll be right back. And after cutting off the battery compartment, here's what we're left with. This is just where the main board goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the main board back in here. And it just goes right in here. In there. there we go. So there's the main board reinserted into the case. And then now, if you actually take the battery cover itself, and I just cut off this little center piece here, so just cut along both these lines, you'll end up with a piece like this. And I just cut a little notch in the bottom for the cable. And once the top cover is reinstalled, it can actually act as a end cover for the box here, just to cover up those holes. So first what we're gonna do is just put another dab of hot glue on this cable to keep it from going anywhere. Just drop it down inside the case here. that harden up. Now that the glue is dry, we can go and reinstall the top cover just by replacing the two screws we took out earlier. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that little cover I made and I'm just gonna glue it to the side here. Now when you glue it, just make sure you just put some glue on the bottom half. Don't put glue on the top, otherwise you won't be able to get it back apart again if you have to. So I'm just gonna use a few drops of super glue Spread it around a little bit. Ready? Then we'll wait for that to set up a little bit. And then actually while that's setting up, we can test this. So I'm just bringing the USB power bank. And we'll plug in the USB cable. Turn the lights on. And there you go. Your battery operated lights are now USB powered lights. And you can use any standard five volt USB power source to power these now. So that's it, hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next video.